Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on the three line strike uh, pattern. The first characteristic that you want to really look at is it's got like a bullish engulfing or a bearish engulfing. So just very simple. It has an engulfing pattern, right? So with a bullish um, three line strike uh, pattern, you'll see three red candlesticks down, right? So usually it's uh, the second closing below the first, the third closing below the second. Again, sometimes it's not going to be perfect. That's why we tell people just be aware of what the pattern is trying to tell you. You can see price is falling down right here. Always be aware of moving average lines. Many times these patterns happen right along key uh, support and resistance lines. As you can see here, this is the 50 SMA. Very important to be aware of. And then you'll see this big green... Uh, candle coming in which engulfs the previous three so technically the pattern for uh, the th three line strike on the bullish would be three consecutive candles down closing below each other and then the fourth opening below the third candle and closing above the original thus engulfing the entire pattern right <clears throat> so as you can see here this is a uh, you know, again, three uh, strike bullish pattern. Again, a lot of these two and three pattern candlestick patterns have lots of similarities to them. So again, this two candlestick pattern is a bullish engulfing. Um, but you could also see if this third, if this candlestick closed above this one right here, then you'd have uh, basically like a three outside up pattern. So you can see that many of these have, again, similar uh, tendencies to them, right? So that's why we tell people, don't bog yourself down and be like, well, uh, what exactly is that? Is it a, is it an even or a morning star pattern? Is it a three outside up? Is it a, a three strike bullish pattern? You can see there's very, there's similarities in a lot of these patterns. So as you can see right here, again, you have the bullish engulfing. If this candlestick was a little bit smaller, then it's got some similarities to an evening star pattern if this one opened up above the second run or closed, you know, kind of up above here. So if this one was down here a little bit lower, again, watch our morning star pattern video. If this the candle closed above this one right here, then you'd have more of a three outside up pattern. So I'm not trying to confuse you. I want to just really focus in and draw your attention because these patterns have lots of similarities and it's so important that you might have three patterns just basically telling you essentially the same thing. But if you can look at these patterns and then look at the support and resistance levels, it helps you to catch the uh, potential reversals uh, a little bit sooner with uh, knowing proper support and resistance levels, right? Let's look at several more patterns here. Uh, PTI, we can zoom in over here, and this one right here is a bearish uh, three-line strike. So you can see one, two, three green candlesticks up, second closed above the first, third closed above the second, the fourth candle opened above the third and closed below the first, right? So you can see here bearish engulfing. So this two candlestick right here engulfs this one, but it also engulfs all three. So it's like three strikes and you're out, right? They use the terminology with baseball, three strikes and you're out. It all depends on what, uh, which side that uh, you're on. So if you're, if you're bullish on it, three strikes and then you're out. If you're bearish on it, three strikes downwards and then you're out with that bullish candlestick coming in. This one right here is very close uh, to being one, if you look right down here, yeah, I guess this is technically a bullish three-line strike. I had it on here because it was very close, right? You could also say that this three-line strike looks very similar to a morning star pattern, right? Very close, not perfect, but you can see if you watch our morning star pattern video and you see there are a lot of similarities to the morning star pattern, and uh, this bullish uh, three-line strike uh, pattern. Very, you know, just very, very important to be aware of, right? 
Now, I want to show you something else, again, where you're going to see uh, very similarities in patterns to other patterns, right? So you can see this is a three-line strike bearish pattern. But watch this. When I remove this pattern and then I draw a circle to here, what is this pattern? This is a three outside down pattern. Still has the bearish engulfing. And then the third candle closing below the second one, again, to confirm the reversal to the downside. These two, these three candlestick patterns are reversal patterns, and the two candlesticks give you basically the warning, right? They give you a warning of what's to come. This bearish engulfing was a warning like, hey, heads up, the stock's overbought right now, potential reversal. This third candlestick comes in and confirms it, three outside down pattern. Obviously be aware of the moving average lines, but two and three candlestick patterns are so incredibly important to look at in the bigger overall patterns. Like when you zoom out, you gotta see what is that story telling you? What is the pattern? You know, many a times you can see on this one right here, <clears throat> this has kind of like a, a head and shoulders look to it. So if you see here, you can see kind of like a head being told over here. You can see kind of like this whole area over here as a left shoulder. And then, you know, right over here, now the right st shoulder starts to form. So you can see bigger patterns overall. And then you got to be able to learn how to draw your trend lines um, and kind of start seeing when a stock starts breaking down. As you can see right here, it starts to break down, right? No coincidence consolidation over here, the right shoulder lower than the left shoulder. So you can see a head, left shoulder, right shoulder, and then obviously price starts again. You have a neckline down here and the price breaks the neckline. So you'll see many of times these reversal patterns, these uh, three candlestick patterns happen at very major levels, especially uh, a head and shoulders pattern. So as you can see, I just showed you a three line strike bearish as well as that, uh, uh, what you call it, the, um, uh, what is it? Oh, three outside down. <laughs> See, I get confused saying this stuff all the time. Um, so that's where I tell people, don't bog yourself down. Look at what the pattern is trying to tell you. This is saying overbought wants to pull back. Look down over here. You can see oversold, what's it want to do? It wants to pull back to the moving average line. So you have a three line strike bullish, but you could also see, uh, you know, morning star pattern here being formed with this doji or the spinning top kind of with the body being contained inside of this reddish uh, candlestick showing a potential reversal. Let's take a look at a couple more patterns here. Uh, let's look over here at HCP. You can see here, uh, this has a one, two, three candles moving up. You can see within these green candles moving up, they're basically spinning tops showing indecision. This red candlestick comes down, engulfs these three, closes below the first. So again, reversal pattern, but again, what was I saying earlier? Many a times you'll get this pattern, but then there'll be something else. So you can see if I remove this drawing, remove this one over here, you'll see that this right here is a bearish engulfing. And then if you look at it together with this candle right here, that's a three outside down pattern, right? So this happens as the re confirm the reversal, but you start having to be aware of that potential reversal with these spinning top kind of patterns that are creating some indecision. So that's where it's important to see the spinning tops, the bearish engulfing, three outside down, and then again, being aware of the other patterns. You're going to see these happen over and over and over again. You can see right up here, you can see an evening star patterns, stocks moving up, see this smaller kind of doji or spinning top up here, closing above, close to above that top of that first green candle, third candle closes below, right? Lots of these 
three candlestick reversal patterns happen over and over and over again. Let's look at AAC. And AAC should be a bullish three line strike. Yep. Here we go. Let's zoom in over here. Price is fading. Three candlesticks down. Big green candlestick closing above the original. And again, doesn't mean it's going to go up forever, right? What happened? This happened right along moving average lines. No coincidence. Got a couple little bit more of pops here. And then it faded, right? Over and over again, these patterns happen. Uh, ONP. This one's a little bit weirder looking. Again, I like to show you real world examples. Three smaller green candlesticks going up. This big red one engulfed the other three. Kind of happened right just above this one here. Uh, but as you can see, it's kind of engulfing this other one and the other three showing a reversal to the downside. And last one we'll take a look at is VUZI. This one should be a bullish one, I believe. Yep, price is falling right here. Big green candlestick engulfing the three here, obviously right below the nine EMA. Right when price is close to those moving average lines, creates indecision, gotta choose a direction. And then this one decided to go up. So these three candlestick patterns are part of a two candlestick pattern, and it's important to know one candlestick as well. You can start to see here a hammer kind of like wanting to try to kind of confirm a base here. It's trying to stop this downtrend. This big green candlestick comes and engulfs the second one, which engulfs the three together. So you have a big kind of engulfing pattern that says, hey, let's stop this from falling. You could also see here, very important, these two candlesticks are also tweezer bottoms. Tweezer bottoms tell a story of a potential reversal as well. So you can see a hammer, you can see tweezer bottoms, you can see a bullish engulfing, and then you can three, see a three line strike bullish right here. A lots of confirmation right when the price is oversold, saying, hey, let's turn this ship around, let's move it back up again, right? so important to learn candlesticks in support and resistance. That's why it's so important to take our courses. We walk you from A to Z, uh, just these single candlesticks. Then we walk you into the bigger overall patterns. And then we, in our second course, drill you down into these two and three candlestick patterns for reversals uh, so that you're able to zoom in and zoom out and find very, very key support and resistance levels. Uh, because again, if you want to become a successful trader, it's all about knowing candlesticks and the patterns and how they work.